Hello guys, my name is Carlos. Today we are going to see how to set up the login level using JMX, Tomcat, and JConsole. In this case, I'm going to use Eclipse uh, via arguments. Before checking the code, let's review some core concepts. We have JMX, it stands for Java Management Extension. It's a Java technology that supplies tools for managing and monitoring applications. RPC, it stands for Remote Procedure Call. It's a distributed computing concept where a process running on one host can call other on another remote host. RMI, it stands for Remote Method Invocation. It's a Java implementation of RPC. And MBINs are classes that can be registered with the JMX bus to listen to events arriving on the bus, to send events on the bus, or to collect uh, data. Uh, it's often used for help monitoring of application servers. And, uh, well, you can check uh, the number of active connections, amount of free memory, and many other statistics. Okay, so uh, about the setup, uh, I'm going to use four properties. So the JMX uh, port, the RMI port, uh, the authentication, and the SSL. I disable the authentication and the SSL. And I set up, I force the port and the, the JMX port and the RMI port to be the same because uh, I want to expose less ports and this is going to be helpful in case you want to use AWS but obviously you can set up uh, whatever free port that you have. In case you are interested to do this uh, uh, using uh, a Tomcat that is running on AWS uh, I prepared another video where I, I explain how to connect JConsole with uh, AWS. Uh, and here you can, s and also this link about the JMX documentation where you can review the other properties. Uh, okay, so let's check the, uh, about the project. Uh, it's a Spring Boot project, Java 8, Tomcat 8, maybe 3. And I expose just one REST endpoint so that we can check uh, the, the JMX setup. About the code, oh, well, you just need to add these two lines uh, to your logbox XML. Uh, because I'm using logback in this case. Uh, uh, I often put the war name so that I, uh, since it's unique and I can differentiate, remember that you can have multiple wars deployed on the same machine, on the same server. Uh, my root level for logging its info. So in my controller, for the method that I expose, I have one log for info and one log for debug. Okay, so in this case, we need to set up the, the VM arguments, right? Uh, since I'm using Eclipse, so double click the server, go to launch configuration in the VM arguments. So here you can see that I copy the, the form. Okay, so let's run it. Uh, the server, uh, the war, so let's start. It's loading. Okay, it's done. So let me put some enters there. Okay, so this is the endpoint. I'm gonna hit again, and we will see that it prints info, right? So let's now change the level to debug. So let's open the terminal. Type j console. Here in the remote process, let's put the uh, this local host. You can put an IP address as well, and the port 1791. Okay, insecure connection. And here, here we can check the mbins. Since I'm using logback, uh, you will see this uh, folder. This is the name that I provided, and. Here you can see operations. Okay, so P1 it's for the package name and P2 for the log level. So we want debug, but the package name let's copy correctly. So well, you can pick any, but in this case, let me just for to test copy here. Enter. It says successful. So let's go here. Ah oh, no, sorry here. Reload. 
and we see info and debug. Okay, so that's that's all. So now let me just put it back how it was before. So then I just here you have reload default configuration. You click, it says okay. Uh, well, you will see some, and then let reload, and you will see info. And that's all. Thank you for watching.